Hi, I'm Bunny Cakes, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my TBR for ARC August. Um, I'm doing it a few days late uh, because I found it a few days late. I had no idea what ARC August was until like the 2nd of August, but it looked like something interesting to be a part of, and also it would light a fire under my hind end to get me to read some of these ARCs that I've promised authors and such that I would read and I've been lazy or life has been happening and I've not gotten around to it. Um, so yeah, I'm using it as motivation to cram these books in between the other books that I want to read and review um, for this month. So I've also picked a really short list of mostly the ones that I have promised authors I would read several weeks ago and I um, so the first one, I actually won this book on uh, Twitter from the publisher, and I haven't promised to read it, but I really, really wanted to. Um, it's called This Mortal Coil, and it is by, oh, you'd think I'd have looked at this. It's by um, Emily Suvada, and this book, it feels awesome. Um, it's bubbly, like, like, the blood on it is bubbling and it's red everywhere like the edges of the pages are red it looks really awesome and I'm not going to go too much into the storyline uh, because I end up tending to halfway try to review these things and also I tend to babble so um, I'm not going to do that but super interested in this book the next book I have is from an author I found on Goodreads his name is uh, Michael Scott Bertrand, and this book is The Flying Con uh, Conquistadors. I hope I said that word right. Um, it's an epic adventure, and, and it takes place during the Golden Age of Aviation. And um, it looks like it will be really, really fun. Um, so, yeah, it's about aviators and archaeologists, and I promised him I would read this probably a month or two ago, and give him a review, and I haven't, and I am so sorry. Um, the next two books I have, and they are the last two on my TBR because I was trying to keep this short, are both by Susan Wingate. Um, the first one is The Lesser Witness. It is book one of the Ashatos Chronicles, and the cover on it looks really cool. And the other one is uh, Storm Season. It's a Meg Storm thriller, so it's also part of a series, and it is just blank. Um, and I actually kind of think this looks like a movie script, and I almost hope she keeps the cover super plain like this. Um, but these are both fairly short-ish, around 200 pages. This one's, I think, almost exactly 200 pages, and Lesser Witness is uh, right around the same, I think. It's about 250 pages. Um, I promised her that I would read these back at the beginning of July. Um, I told her it would give me a, to give me a week, and I would read at least one of them. And then um, after I got them, I got kind of busy with something else. And then my fiancé had a kidney stone, and I wasn't able to get around to it. So those are actually... Um, top of my list because she really had a tight timeline for getting reviews in for, um, I can't remember which one, I'll have to look at the email, but she really needed reviews in really quickly, so I am going to read those within the next couple of days and try to get the reviews to her, and um, I'm hoping that I can read all four of those and then hopefully maybe throw in some other arcs that I need to read, but yeah, I'm trying to and not push myself too hard. Um, the last couple of months I've been reading right around six books, so if I read these four books, then that'll be most of my reading for the month. And I've got some pleasure reading that I'd also like to do. Not that the arc reading isn't super fun, but there's like, um, like I'm trying to read all of Stephen King's books and uh, such, that sort of pleasure, like catch-up reading that I'm trying to do. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that I can fit those in and fit in the other reading 
and I need more time is what I need. I need more minutes in the day, a time turner, time travel, something. That's what I need. Hopefully I can make that happen. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to ARC August, and um, I will link to uh, all the information about ARC August that I can find down below. And uh, so that's all I have. <laughs> and um, thank you for watching and keep reading.